Hey there friends, Nibs again. Absolutely beautiful day here in upstate New York. Uh, a little warm, but not too bad. And uh, for once I've gotten out to the range and there's absolutely no wind. Of course, the day I'm gonna be shooting close range stuff, I get out here and there's no wind. But uh, so what we are going to be uh, discussing in this video is uh, something pretty cool that I've really wanted to add to my collection for quite a long time and I've just have not found one that I was willing to plunk down my money for. But uh, what we have here is a uh, Quackenbush uh, 22 rifle and they called this their uh, safety rifle or safety cartridge rifle depending on which website you look at. And this one is pretty neat. Uh, this particular one, I'm not sure, I haven't found any, they made these between like uh, the 1890 and 1920. All the ones I see online, most of the ones I see online are blued for starters. This one's nickel plated, um, which is pretty cool. But most of the ones I see online actually have the HM Quackenbush information on the side of the receiver here, or the side of the... I don't know if you call it the receiver or not, but um, but this particular one actually, and then they have patent dates on the side there. This particular one only has on the top of the this bolt block, uh, HM Quackenbush, Herkimer, New York, USA. No patent dates or anything like that. This thing does not have any serial number on it or any other marks anywhere else that I can find uh, other than that. Uh, maker mark on top of the bolt so pretty unusual from what I've seen from other guns uh, online let me give you a little close-up of it here run by a, a drive-by <laughs> so the stock's not perfect but it's in pretty good shape for a gun that's probably 120 years old possibly 130 years old um, there's the front little post there does have uh, buckhorn sights, so it's uh, going to be a little, little bit challenging for me. But we'll do some shooting with it, and we'll go ahead and see what it can do. Um, overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's got a couple of little, little spots where the the nickel plating has uh, rusted away. But uh, overall, I think it's uh, a pretty good survivor. Um, the I did take a couple of test shots with it before I started up. And the, uh, the rifling does look pretty nice in this one. Um, one thing I've read about these, and I can, I've, I've seen that in other guns too, is... Uh, <coughs> ooh, sorry. Ah, I was mowing grass earlier and got a little, uh, little allergy thing going. But uh, these older guns that were made around... The 18, late 1800s, early 1900s, the 22 cartridges of that day were all made with black powder still. And if the barrels weren't maintained properly, you'd end up with corrosion, very similar to what happened to a lot of the Mohs and the Gants with corrosive ammo. Um, but this one, this one really looks good. I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, there's definitely nice, it's not pitted or anything like that. There's nice pronounced rifling. So uh, we'll go ahead and try. I've got some CB shorts here. We'll try those first. And then I've got some uh, CCI standard velocity. I, I don't think I would want to go anything higher than standard velocity in this thing. But uh, I'm not sure even standard velocity is prudent. But we'll go ahead and give it a try. I can't see where these uh, bullets are impacting from here. I'm, I'm shooting about 50 feet right now. So, uh, that's about as good as I can do with these open sights like this. But uh, I'll shoot these and then I'll uh, pause the camera and I'll go paste up the holes and then I'll shoot a, another group with the uh, standard velocity. But really, really easy gun to shoot. Uh, it actually has a pretty nice trigger. Don't see any? Well, I do see one kind of low and 
low and right a little bit. That is, that is completely my eyes. Uh, I can't see these buckhorn sights to save my life, so. Oh, I forgot to cock it. Uh, that always gets me. Gets me with the safeties on the, <laughs> all these newer air rifles and these uh, older 22s that you got to load it and close the bolt and then cock it. <laughs> All right, let me, uh, I'll pause the camera and I'll go check those out and then I'll, uh, I'll paste them up and we'll try some CCI standard velocity, standby. All right. Well, it actually, wasn't it wasn't a bad group at all. Uh, I was expecting to uh, be a little bit bigger than that, really. Me shooting offhand uh, with these buckhorn sights like this, but a little low. But other than that, it was a pretty decent looking group. So now let me go ahead and we'll try a few of these uh, standard velocities in here. See if uh, see if we can make a, any improvement at all. Definitely a pronounced difference in the uh, report from these standard velocities. Still nothing terrible, terrible or anything. But Again with the didn't cock it. Oh my goodness. All right, let me go check out that group and I'll be right back with you. Alrighty, well I'm back. That group was pretty decent too. Uh, if I had to call one or the other, I would say probably the uh, CB shorts did the tiniest bit better. But uh, I'm sure that is completely uh, just my eyes and nothing else. So uh, I do have a one more target I want to try to uh, eliminate here for us. Um, I've got uh, a 12 pack on well, that I don't have a 12 pack anymore but I bought a 12 pack of this uh, I what I thought I I really enjoy my sparkling water but I like the unsweetened sparkling water that's flavored and I, I made the mistake and didn't pay attention and ended up with a uh, 12 pack of the peach flavored with uh, aspartame sweetener and that's got to be some of the foulest ta foulest tasting stuff on the planet. I don't know how anybody can drink that stuff, but it makes good targets. So let's go ahead and shoot it. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Not quite as fun as the gong, but makes for good slow motion video. But all right, well, there's my quacking bush safety rifle or safety cartridge rifle probably made between 1890 and 1920 if anybody has any information i heard there i read that there was some some variants uh, but i haven't been able to find a listing that tells me what features on the gun would you know pertain to what variant to try to narrow it down in that 30 
30 year time span that these things were appear to have been made so but uh, anyway there you go there's my Quackenbush safety rifle hope you liked the video if you did like share and subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell you'll be notified when I do post up new videos till next time have a great day